Seriously. Welcome back to the channel. This is the part where I have to ask you to like and subscribe because this next video is going to cost me a lot of money. <laughs> Here, today I'm going to go look at ordering development online through MPIX, MPIX.com. Um, we're going to look at their website and how that works. I've never ordered film development online, so now we're going to take a look at it together. Um, if you've been watching the channel, you know that we've been doing a lot of camera tests. I've got these two Canons here and some other film cameras that I've been working on. I know that these 200s up here in this one black and white C41 process are recent film tests that I've done with some cameras I have. Some of these others, I'm not even sure what they are. This Kodak Gold, um, this 27 exposure film, and this Ektachrome, I'm not even sure what's on it. And I'm also going to get this Fuji Quick Snap process in the, through M MPIX. Okay, I've gathered all my film I'm on the MPIX website. 25% off everything, free standard shipping on orders 35 or over. Okay, well, it's not really going to be a normal order for them. So, I'll go to prints. The very bottom is film. And I already read this once, so I'm going to read it right now. We cannot process APS E6 true black and white film 110 disc 126 film. So, I'm going to not include my slide film that I have. To find someone else to process that. I do have nine rolls of 35 millimeter film in one <laughs> disposable camera. But let's do this first. I do want the standard scan. Good for smaller prints up to 5x7, 4.5 megabit digital photos. Um, I can scan at home, so I'm okay with that. And here's something a lot of places don't do right now. And I think you should uh, be aware. A lot of places don't send your negatives back to you. So here you go, right here. After scanning your film, we will mail back your negatives. Process negatives are shipped back to you separate of any other order. There you go, prints are sold separately. Um, scanning option. Yeah, stuff we just read. Okay. So I'm going to add nine rolls to my cart. Holy crap. Uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Go do one disposable camera. And now I'm going to cart. All right, so what do we have here? Top, it gives me the subtotal 10150. Type of film, so 89 for that, 1195 for that. So yeah, like I thought, over a hundred bucks. Just got an email from MPix. My development is ready. So let's see, I'm in my account now. I'm just gonna go to account order history real quick. So I ordered these on the 30th. You can see by the production date, they were uploaded on the 8th. So it took a little over a week to process my film and upload them. So this is the interface where you would look at your photos. Once you're in your MPix account, you have at the top, my account, my photos. I'm already in my photos. And we're just going to look at one folder here. You see I've already started to rename some of these. And this is what it looks like. So I got the low res scan. I'm getting the negatives back. There's one set of film where the scans look a little grainy and light and I don't know why. So I want to wait for the film to come back before I 
make any judgment of that, and we will look at that when I look at all of the different cameras we used. This is what an individual photo looks like. Gives you options for reordering. They're low res, so I don't know how it would get to an 11 by or 8 by 12 even. It's, they seem very small once I downloaded them. I had a uh, one roll they wouldn't do the, the the slide film. I had this roll, which was a mystery. I'm not even gonna look at it with you. And then they had a disposable camera, which they had a small upcharge to process that one. And then I had a black and white C41 process. This is one of the scans I thought was kind of light and grainy. So I want to wait until the film comes in before I make any assumptions about the camera itself. All right, everybody, that's my experience with MPEX. If there's a online processor that you like, uh, please let me know. I'd like to see what else is out there and what other services are offered. But I thought it was a reasonable set of uh, they were running a sale, it was $10 a roll, and I think with the sale it was around $8 per roll of film. Uh, I got low res scan and got my images back within a week, and now we'll see how long it takes them to send me the, the negatives back. So I'm guessing I'll see the negatives next week.